Hi, I'm Steven. About three years ago, I had a crazy idea. I was sitting at home watching Star Trek The Next Generation after a long day of work in the lab. On the screen appeared Lieutenant Commander Data, the human android. That got me thinking. Artificial intelligence has been progressing in leaps and bounds, but we don't have anything close to data yet. Why? The human brain is extremely complex, so complex that it is very difficult to reproduce in a computer. But what if you started with something small, like a worm? As it turned out, I wasn't the only one who had this crazy idea. And that was the beginning of Openworm. Openworm is an open science project dedicated to creating the first digital organism. Specifically, we're building C. elegans, a microscopic worm. We're creating an interactive version of this important creature based on its real biology. Think SimCity or Google Earth, but for worms. A worm sim. Your own virtual creature for you to explore. This year, if given the chance, our goal is to give you access to the worm by bringing a worm sim to your browser. If you pledge, you'll be given your own worm sim that will let you interact with the latest open worm model online. You'll be able to see fascinating visuals of the moving worm, interact with it in a virtual 3D environment, and click on parts of the worm, like its muscles, as they light up and reveal their secrets. This unique experience blows away reading a textbook and helps you better understand the worm and biology in general. So why is this worm so important? And why should you care? It's been the focus of research for three Nobel Prize winners because it offers incredible insight into the basic functions of all life, including humans. It has only a thousand cells, a thousand cells, which makes it the perfect starting place for creating the first digital biological organism. In that tiny body is a mini brain, muscles, and guts, and it knows how to use them. Every year, more scientists, students, and educators start with this worm to better explain and understand what exactly goes wrong during disease and exactly how the genetic code gives rise to the mysteries of life. Up until now, the Open Worm Project has only been possible through the dedication of our open science contributors from 11 different countries who have volunteered countless hours to create what we have today. I think what you're trying to do is a tremendous project. It, it, you know, it's something that, that, that I've dreamed about over the years. And I think when you can do that, I, I, I think only then can you sort of say that you know, we understand how the nervous system works. So what do you do when <laughs> you have a problem that you cannot solve on your own? You ask for help. And what is the best modeling software to ask for help? It's the open source. We want to see this worm wiggling in a browser for everybody to play with. But the hard work of our team can only get us so far. Now we need you. Over the next 30 days, we want to raise enough money to create and give you your own worm sim using the best cloud computing technologies. While the code produced by our project will always be open source, those who support this Kickstarter will exclusively benefit from the simplicity of a point and click experience. In addition to getting your own worm sim, you can choose from a variety of awesome, unique rewards exclusive to Kickstarter. For the truly curious minds, we've created the Open Worm Academy, an online course that gives you a look into the biology, math, computer science, and programming behind Open Worm in a way that is fun and simple to understand. Our highest pledgers can donate a simulation to a kid and even a whole classroom, adding a unique component to a child's education. Every dollar in excess of our goal will be spent improving the model of the worm, making your worm sim smarter and closer to the real one. So, let's expand the understanding of life and artificial intelligence through this digital organism. Click the little green button on the side, and next time you think of worms, think open worm. Thanks.